Plants vs Zombies Beautiful Town. This is a game that we've been playing around with a little bit. Done a few videos on this. Trying out some of the new plants, seeing how everything works. Even tried the hardest level. Enough. I think it is time that we marathon this thing. The whole playthrough. I think it's time we sit and we knock out every single one of these levels. Including this one. Every single one. The whole shit and shebang. This game is going in the dustbin right here, right now. So we're going to start with Daytime Crisis. We know this level, we've done it. Very simple. As I work my way through these, I want to use the time to hone some of the strategies that I've come up with. Sharpen some of the setups. Because they're going to get harder as we go. And of course, when we get to that ultimate challenge at the end, then... <laughs> Still not 100% sure how I'm planning on getting past that. But we've got time to figure it out. I really like the thing we do with the Taku Radish and Potato Mine. That is a solid little go-to. I'm going to start off with a nice, simple... Lumos Lotus. Lumos Lotus with Runic Leaflet. And that's kind of it. We could bring Oily Lich in as well. See, even though I'm not using fire and explosion damage, it still slows them down. So this is still a good shout anyway. Just kind of a nice thing to bring along. I need to figure out which Johnnies actually recharge quickly. Because to tell you the honest truth, I don't know. I still haven't tried every plant just yet but i know i'm gonna need johnny's as we get further into this and they look like they're charging at pretty much the same rate so it doesn't help my case that much so yeah for those of you who watched the uh previous videos i've made on this these first few levels are going to be not much that you haven't already seen so sorry about that but don't worry we're covering everything. I really like uh, Lumos Lotus, actually. This thing's really good. Runic Leafler is honestly insane. Like, you compare this thing up with this thing, you compare it up with Rose. It is disgusting. Runic Leafler, basically, this thing, when you put it down, it powers up every other magic plant by, I think, 20%. And I think it can stack as many times as you want. So you can just keep on putting them down. And they will just keep on getting stronger and stronger. You're going to activate in time? Uh, well. <laughs> uh, well, I'll have to just let that lane go then, <laughs> I guess. Royally messed that one up. Yeah, I love this thing. See, even with just one leaflet down, you see how convincingly that's killing a cone head? Like, this thing ain't bad. In fact, I'm going to get a second one of these down now. And how quickly are you killing a bucket head is the million dollar question. Right? Yeah, it's got a 40% damage increase, but 60 now. So this is what I'm talking about. We got the three leaflets down. And now every single one of these lotus sis, loti, each one of these things now has a 60% damage boost. I call that stonks. Got a lot of time to figure out what I'm going to take down that giant zomboss Megatron, whatever the fuck it was called, thing with. Has 100,000 hit points. I, I don't know how I'm getting past that. See, it's not how much health it has that bugs me. It's... Bro, it can spawn like anything it wants. And it fires missiles that just insta-kills whatever it hits. Like, I'm powerless against this magic. Dude, the bucket head bit. The bucket head barely gets past the oily lichen before it dies. I don't know what came over me then. Suddenly turned South African. Pew, 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 pew. God, I love this thing. We're now working at double damage with five of these down. Which is uh, it's okay. It's not bad. I feel like it wouldn't hurt to put a sixth one down, though. How fast this bucket head die now? Be pretty damn quickly. <laughs> Need to play around with some of these Johnnies as well. Cosmic, we've got Devil. Should probably look up what they actually do. Because I can't remember off the top of my head. I haven't tried any of the Cosmic plants yet, so this whole thing about what was the system they had? Their Cosmic Energy Point thing? I have no idea how that works. Not even try the setup with that just yet. Yeah, we can speed the rest of this one up. Okay. Level one. Next one, Heavy Armor. We got Peckers, we got Doors, we got Dustbins. On my kind of Saturday. Salura. Yeah, this is something that I could pair with um, Sunflower. It says flowers gain 25% speed bonus, which surely means they're going to produce sun quicker. Let me try this. Let me try this. Free up some spaces. I'm going to bring Wildflower. And then you bring it with this thing. They pair together quite well. Isn't poison damage supposed to be good against these guys? 
I mean, it was in PvZ2. I don't know if it works the same way here. Jurian Pole. Hmm. Interesting. You're hired. Let me see what Ghost Pepper's saying. And let me get a Doom Shroom with a coffee bean. Just to play it safe. No need to be retrying levels this early. You know what I mean? Knock out a couple more of these levels. Then we're going to talk about PvZ3. Because I have some things to say. <laughs> Everyone watching is like, oh god, here we go. <laughs> see, it's just not the same as the SpongeBob one. But let's see if you can kill Screen Door. Uh, okay. Yeah. Almost. What are Wildflower? What are you saying? Yeah, you just beat him over the head. I like the simplicity of this one. Ghost Pepper seems to be slowing him down. Massively slowing him down. Okay, hold on, hold on. Come on, Wildflower, you got this. Oh, this isn't good. Yeah, okay, come on. Oh, please kill the All-Star. Come on, yes, yes, come on. I have... Shit. Okay, well, we might have to just do one of these ones. I hate to do it for the benefit of a single all-star, but... Uh. <laughs> now, what is good with the poison dap? Yes! <gasps> oh, it does work the same as PvZ2. Fucking get in there. We like Jury and Pult. That is just gonna rip straight past their armor. And we got like a whole Melon Pult dedicated to this thing now. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna put Salura right there. I think she reaches all of them. Yep, she does. She does something to the Jurian Pult as well. I... I couldn't tell you what she does. <laughs> no idea what she does, but she does something. Oh, wasn't it, um... Male plants get damage resistance, female plants get damage boost, and then flowers get speed boost. I feel like Jurian Pult probably is a male plant. So it maybe gets damage resistance. I'm not expecting great results against the All-Star, but slow down. Wildflower. I want to see some teamwork here. Nice, push him back. So Wildflower's got a few cool little things it could do. Oh, let's go. Okay, and Ghost Pepper's still there. Ah, I think it said Ghost Pepper uses um brain fart it said it runs on zombie souls and my assumption is that means if it can kill a zombie or a zombie dies in its aura then it lasts longer this is pathetic it's literally one all star For sake Put more stuff down, Cam. This is a bit of a rinky-dink sort of setup here. But... I like the Salura being there. That was a good shout. Last one. Coffee bean. Like coffee kaboom. And this one just didn't die for some reason. Okay, you can have the ghost pepper. And jobs are good. Uh. More of a mini pecker person myself. Sorry. Continuous suppression. Oh. Played this level plenty. Thinking what I'm thinking? Fuck! No, uh, no you don't. <laughs> Sorry, you had a gun? Bitch, I have a cannon. A dragon cannon. An XYZ dragon, dragon cannon. cannon. Suck on them nuts. I think I give a shit about your mounted turret. That's his child's play. This, I still think, is my best setup at the moment. Haven't managed to come up with something better than this just yet. We're pretty much guaranteed the win at this point, so... uh Let's have a discussion. Yeah, we're doing a marathon on this game. This wasn't actually the project that I had in mind. I was gonna do PvZ3, believe it or not. I know a lot of you have been asking, a lot of you have been requesting it, telling me, oh, you know, it's out, there's another beta, or it's been soft launched, whatever you wanna call it, I don't really care. PvZ3's back out, and a lot of you are asking if I'm gonna be covering it, and um, I would like to go on record and say that I tried. You are not getting anywhere near these cannons. Don't even try it. I want to go on record and say I tried. I was going to bust out the whole thing. I got about two hours in. And I had to stop. I'm actually, I'm, I'm not kidding. Two hours into the game, I had to stop. Because, oh my god. Oh my god. It's so bad. I couldn't do it. This isn't a title that I give out lightly. It could be the worst game I've ever played. I'm dead serious. It's that bad. BFN is a game that I've criticized very heavily 
over the years, and I stand by those criticisms. I didn't think BFM was a good game. The reasons as for why I've shared a hundred times over. I'm like a broken record at this point. But my brother in Christ, at least I could actually sit and play that game and have a bit of fun with it. I could not stomach this. I fiz I'm not even trying to make it sound dramatic. I played for two hours and I was just depressed. And that's probably the most appropriate word I could use to describe that game. It's depressing. Here's my official statement. Until such time as they actually make that game halfway decent, which is never gonna happen, by the way. I'm not touching it with a 10-foot barge pole. I'd rather play this. Uh, so that's that. Let's get on with this level. I wanna play around a little bit more with this thing. I don't wanna just bring it, though. I need something else. Or actually, do you know what we could do? We could bring this. That will work with Durian Pole. Because that's the thing with this. It inherits the projectile of the lobber plant that you place it on. So we can make it a durian mortar. This is the bit that I'm most interested to see. What does it do to the turtle? Because I've had problems with these guys before. The hat's gone, which means he's going to go. Bro, we just bypassed the turtle. Wow. I think I've been sleeping on this thing quite badly. How are we feeling about the mortar, though? It just attacks all the lanes. It's basically melon pulp plant food. That's basically what that is. Just as a plant that I've got sitting there. Kill the all-star. That's it. Uh, can I pop his ties? No, nah, only spike we can do that. Nah, that's a shame. Well, we got potato mine, so... Could even maybe drop a second Salura. If I felt so inclined. Or is that just... Is that overkill? Is that overkill? I don't know. Can there be such a thing as overkill? Only thing he struggles with is some of these bulkier things like the cars. Because the poison doesn't really affect him. So maybe squash kills? Yes! This is a cute idea. But it needs fine tuning. There's not enough raw damage in this one. I don't think. Well, actually I say that. Um, <laughs> uh, we sure about that? Yeah, I'd love it if everyone could just bundle top. That's it. There you go. We're struggling for a second there. I suppose the nice thing about having the mortars is then, like, it doesn't matter what lane I have them in. They just kind of attack everywhere, so we can just chill out now. I mean, we're going to win because we got the lawn mowers, but yeah, needs a bit of work. I need another one of these. A halfway decent effort. Tide of the dead. Oof. Well, this is going to be perfect for jury and pulp. Good time to see if we can improve it. Let's do that. Okay. So it doesn't kill them, but it sort of draws them all in. It's interesting. Good way of grouping them all together. But the thing is, if I'm using Durian Pult, then like, I don't even need this thing. Because the poison just completely bypasses the bucket anyway. And all that time I spent playing through PvZ2. And all I had was a little mushroom that all oh, give it to one zombie or plant food it to get everyone else. Now I have a whole durian pole and I can put down as many as I want. Pekka's dead. Of course, he ain't killing snake grass. As soon as you kill him, he just moves back. Plenty of space. Does this work? It does work. I mean, obviously it works. What else is that armor made out of? Not exactly going to be paper mache, is it? <laughs> he just misses. What happens now? Do we even find out? He just kills one head. Second head. Third head. Let me put another one there. Okay, have a cherry bomb. He ain't slicing that in half. <laughs> All right, wave by wave. We've done this one before. We know we can do this with cannon. Oh, God. This is going so bad. Okay, let's stop putting radish down. I've lost most of my mowers at this point. Should we try and play this a bit more sensibly? Have that, you bastard. Might actually be okay here. We sort of managed to restore... I say restore something of a setup. I'm lucky that one cannon per lane is actually good enough. That is the dragon cannon difference. Do I actually have enough time here? Oh, I don't think so. No, I do! <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Don't know how I bumblefucked my way through that one. Okay. Just about. <laughs> Can't really afford to be struggling that bad. Now we have one last daytime level before we finally move on to the nighttime stuff. Seeing the level of peel peel we got going on here right now. Insane. I'm actually just going to keep putting more leaflets down at this point. I'm not even really bothered about doing more. I mean, I could put down more. Now we probably should put more chase down, shouldn't we? This is final wave anyway, so I might just kick it. 
Oh, his tires got popped before he even got in the garden. Sorry about that, mate. Nothing personal. It's just business. Oh, but now he's not, um... <laughs> he's not close enough for me to actually attack him. Come on, I can park with the rest of the lanes. Just not top middle. Just not top middle. Come on. More of them. More of them. More of them. More of them. Cannot afford to lose top middle. The rest don't matter. I think we've just about got away with this one. Yeah, we just got away with that. Didn't hold up quite as well as I'd hoped. I think where it fell down a little bit is um, the Lumos Lotus doesn't have that much range. So I kind of feel like they're not going to be able to shoot the turrets until they're within the range that they can shoot me, which is probably where I kept on losing them. Anyway, daytime levels done. It's nighttime, which means we can finally use mushrooms. Let's get it. Sunshroom, orchard, smush shroom, or the van hammer, as I like to call it. Doom shroom. Uh, what else do we want to try? Let me try that. Um, <laughs> let me try that ancient banana. If I'm going to bring ancient banana, then we probably want snake grass, since I think that counts as biting. And I'm going to bring uh, otaku and potato mine. The more I sit and play this, the more I'm honestly starting to think that Orchard could actually just be the best plant in the game. Because this thing works on everything. Like, I know it says increases attack speed, but no, it actually works on sun production as well. Like, I didn't even realize that at first. It literally works on everything. It's so stupid. There's like, there's absolutely no reason to not bring Orchard. Ever. It just, it goes in every setup and just makes it better. I want to see if this little idea works though, with the old, uh... Ancient banana. Could I possibly trouble you to go up to the top lane, please? If you wouldn't mind. Up. You had one job. Just the one. Million dollar moment. Does this count as a biting kill? Yes, it does. Who <laughs> do I have ideas? Where are you going? Blah. And no one wants to go up to top lane, do they? No one wants the radish. It's not a trap. I promise. You know what I totally could do? I could just do this. That's one way of getting rid of them. Uh, what's happened here? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Don't think so. Here we go. I, I think you got him. It's cool. We've almost, almost got the 20 kills. Almost. Come on, show me the money. Show me what I came here to see. It is time! Have you seen my banana big man? Mate. <laughs> He's big. What, is this dude just going to patrol up and down the whole time? Like, what happens if he just runs through them? He, he, he just insta-kills them. Oh, hang on a minute. I can click him. Oh, I can click him and make him stop. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, bad. Well. Listen, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's how you deal with a problem. So we now need to try and... Well, this isn't really how I wanted to set it up. I wanted him in top middle, ideally, so that I could just redirect everything with garlic. I'm going to see what happens if I just stop you right there and just leave you. Can they even kill him? Like, is that even on the cards? I can't put another one down, and I don't know if I can actually... I actually can't get rid of him. I can't even get rid of him. He's just there. Banana Big Man just does what he wants. Got newspapers. Bro, they just die instantly. This thing is insane. Almost as insane as this hammer. Great success. Iron wall. All right. Tiger grass and soul patch. You're next. I'm gonna get past Zomboss, then we're gonna have to start coming up with some fresh ideas. Because the ideas I got just ain't gonna cut it. I wanna actually put this black hole thing to the test. Hold on, give me a sec. You can have that. That works. I mean, that's kind of an expensive trade, but it's say something like it kills everything on a single tile. I feel like we should we should shit test this. Fish bash bosh. Tiger grass, you're up. 
Oh, he's big. I'm listening. Good damage. Soul Patch, what about you? I know you were supposed to be a good card in Heroes, but I can't say I remember how good. So let's see. Wait, is that actually supposed to be like a health bar? Okay. So this dude, tanky as shit. Hold on. Get behind that. Of course, Tiger Grass can attack in a 360. I like that. Uh, this guy's a little bit too bulky, though. Are you too bulky? for a black hole. No, see, even you ain't thick enough to survive that. Soul patch. Go. Go on. Another one of them. Mate, they be attacking him three ways. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I'm seeing that soul patch kind of punches him back as well. And his shield regenerates? This dude gets his health back. Bro. He just punches it backwards. Nah, that's crazy. Hold on. Does the black hole kill this thing? The black hole... Okay, I th I'm starting to think the black hole just kills everything. We might have actually found some pathway decent plants here. I'll oh, soul patch is another mode as well if I click it. What does that? Put some kind of shield over all the plants in its lane. Bro, I'm getting ideas. I'm getting ideas about Zomboss. Bro, when he's like firing his missiles, you're telling me I could have Soul Patch in here, just put a shield over everything and take all of the hits and then regenerate his shield anyway? I think we've been missing some hidden gems out here. I mean, like big time. I have to go back in the, um, the plant selection and actually have a look at it. Bro, I love how he just chins him. Like, <laughs> just lamps him one straight in the jaw. Bosh. Oof. Jason takes Manhattan. I'm just saying, I put these soul patches down ages ago. And not a single one of them has died. I think this one's just about to. Unless I put that in front. No, my soul patch! Fuck. It's alright. I got another one. <laughs> oh, love it. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I think we're gonna need the old... Uh, the old if in doubt button. Yeah, did you see that? Bro, Soul Patch totally took the blast just then. Even the Sun Shroom didn't die. Let me read up on this thing. Hold on. Uses a regenerative shield to protect himself and attacks the largest size enemy in range, dealing physical blunt damage. Click to switch to defensive state in which he uses the shield to take damage in place of all friendly ground plants on his lane. Yes! This is the defensive plant I've been looking for. Holy shit, we've actually found it. Tiger grass is pretty good too, actually. Score poison grass. Hmm. Bro, let me try that with spike rock. All damage targets have their piercing damage resistance reduced to zero for a short time. Hey, listen, he's cooking something. The hell did she just do? Uh, I literally don't know what she's doing, but she's making them go bye-bye. I, mate, she just out here Thanos snapping them. I don't know how else to describe it. She's literally just going. Gargantua now. All right, if I could get a soul patch in front of this thing, it's going to take at least a few hits. Soul Bro, Soul Patch can even push the Gargantua back. We like this one. How are you just deleting Gargantuas like that? Wait for it to get to the spike weed. And then... Watch me pop this. And how much damage does Soul Patch take for that hit? Fair amount, but honestly... We can just do that. I'll let Spike we take the hit, honestly. It's not a big deal. And his health just comes straight back anyway. Oh. Hold on, wait. I've got a genius idea. Ready? Watch this. None of them die. None of them die. Yeah, the two soul patches did, though. <laughs> 
<laughs> They're just gone. Having a little bit too much fun with this. I'm fully expecting he's just gonna vanish into thin air. Perhaps. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Hearts of Iron. Lots of vehicles. All right. Here's what I want to try now. I want to try this thing. The Crown Inferno. Bring it with this. We could go all fire, couldn't we? Enemies with the special poison explode when they die, dealing damage to other enemies in a 3x3 area. Damn, no wonder. I was wondering what was happening there. So we basically caused a chain reaction. Nice. Relatively powerful. Not quite enough to kill a bucket head, though. So it's kind of like, um... Banana launcher, but with a fire tornado. Okay. Not great. Drop a second one. Do it again. Said three by three. Okay, now we're talking. All right. Oh, I wonder if, um... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Um... Doom Shroom, uh, e require your services, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Shouldn't have let that happen. I'm gonna have to drop that down and just hope that I can... I mean, since he's distracted, I should be able to get it activated quicker, so it's not all bad. Throw that down in one of them ones. Bish bash bosh. Maybe with Orchade, that recharges quicker he thinks. Possibly, maybe, 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 no, maybe. Is it recharged yet? Oh, there we go. I, I kind of jumped the gun a little bit on that one. I'm just gonna let that bottom lane go, honestly. He barely survived that. I, I stand corrected. I think they're dead. Damn. This thing. This thing. Very much liking this thing. In fact, I'm liking it so much I can't even remember what it's called. Bro, you just ain't even putting a dent in it. Why are you even trying? Have that, and that, and that. And you know what? Have another one for good measure. Because I'm a nice guy. Nothing if not charitable. Dude, that is fully capable, if you have enough of them, of just wiping out an entire wave. Like, no shit's given. I like this one. Midnight Assault. Ooh, interesting. We've got Miners. There's only one scenario where I actually like Miners, and that's when I'm playing on that sense of sound. Wait. Go get him. Ooh, didn't kill the All-Star. It's all right. Tiger's got it covered. That's it. Go on. Go on. Go on. You got it. You got it. Come on! You gotta be kidding me. Seriously? I bet this works. Yup, he didn't even get up. Couldn't even get up before he died. This is more or less a finished setup now. I just need to get more of these things down. I've got plenty of space to do so. And the more of them I put down, the easier each huge wave becomes. It's just more firestorms that I can send. Are you ready? What the hell is getting past this? I'm dead ass. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> Peckers might do a decent chunk of damage to the... Actually, there's quite a lot of peckers, and I'm pretty sure they give an armor buff to the stuff around them, so let me just torch that real quick. Hate to see your hopes and dreams go up in flames like that. Last night time level. This looks interesting. I'm going to bring exactly the same setup again. I'm honing this. Yeah. 
Mm -mm. How do you think you're doing? What kind of Ghostbusters shit that is? I can't stress enough how ridiculous Soul Patch is, like, honestly. And I really want to try this out in the final level where Zomboss comes in and he's firing like heat seeking missiles at all your shit. And I can just do this. do it. See, mine is literally just aren't a problem anymore. Now I've got this guy sitting in the back. They just head on over there, pop up, and dead. It's just so easy. Is that a defensive end? Oh shit, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Got a defensive end on deck. Give me a sec. Oh, they're sending hella stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. On them down as well. Okay, there we go. Bro, Soul Patch just ate that hit like it was nothing from a defensive end. That's another one from Heroes. That's kind of cool. And we're done with the nighttime levels. Pool levels. Here we go. Oh, we haven't got Cattail, so <laughs> big Sag. Do I even need to change anything? Like, honestly, you would think. Tiger Grass can just hit whoever's in the pool. Since he can attack multiple ways. I don't know. We'll try it out. Bring these two again. I don't know what else to say. This just works. What about this thing? Demon Melon. Applying a demonic curse on all hit targets. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to try it just so I can turn it into a Demon Mortar. That's my plan. I'm taking kind of a big risk here, actually. Not putting any lily pads in this. I don't need him. Don't even need him. Think I need the lily pad to get through a pool level? When well, I've got a setup this good? I forgot how good this music is. Speed that up. And when we're ready, you can have a black hole. Bye bye. So dramatic. <laughs> Such a dramatic sound effect of taking out one brown coat. Drop that right there. Yep, still hits him. Mm-hmm. See, there's method to my madness. Now I need one on the other side. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be the pool's version of a bucket head, or that is, I think, what we would call a plate head. Dog bowl head. Nah, he kills him pretty convincingly. Thing is, once I get my demon mortar, it's not even going to matter. It's not even going to matter. So we'll go melon pole. Turn it into a demon pole. Save up a little bit more. And then demon mortar. Now that can hit everything. So go ahead. Beautiful stuff. Now what kind of difference does that... Well, that effect didn't last very long. I want to see how much of a difference it actually makes to... When Tiger's trying to... Or he could just not even get there. That works. Can I send a firestorm in the pool? Yes, I can. Afraid my fire is too much for your water? Bosh. Have that, you prick. Oh, black hole. Straight away. There you go. Get them both. I like the way Soul Patch had to just kind of throw a punch in there anyway, just because, just for the disrespect. I trained you well. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this demon pulp thing. I could have just gone with Jurian pulp, honestly. That would have worked just as well, if not better. Yeah, I don't know. Should do the trick. I, I mean, did, did you want to fling any more melons at him? I think you got him. <laughs> Done deal. There's only three pool levels. All right. Mechanical Storm. Yeah, no shit. Let's play this one a bit more. Well, I mean, here's the thing. These ones float, so they're probably going to be in the pool. Got well, newspaper guys. Got to be careful of them. Maybe we adapt it ever so slightly. And by adapt it, I mean we're actually going to bring a lily pad. And that's pretty much it. Oh, boy. Nope. He's good, but he's not right. I keep forgetting we actually get an extra lane in this one. Where are you going? It just ain't happening, player. Oh, God, my ass has gone numb. I haven't sat down for too long. I'm gonna make a fresh cupper after this. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Less. No, no, no. 
Stone. Oh, he... Bloody hell. Yeah, newspapers are a different kind of beast. You're gonna fly over the radish? Yep. Uh, excuse me. There was a whole potato mine sat right there. Like, can I see the doctor's note? You wanna play it that way? We can play it that way. No, thanks. Perfect. Now I can actually put something there. Oh, go on. Get him. Get him. Get him. No. <laughs> it's good. But it's not right. Oh, almost. Not quite. So close. God. All right, last pool level. Electricity. I'm gonna need another cup before I do this. This guy? Really? Oh, it's gonna be that way, is it, game? Oh, boy. Some kind of electric fisherman. Could always just do that. Then I never have to find out what he does. Presume he was obviously waiting for something in the pool to attack, so... Good thing I outsmarted him. Get my leaflets down. I haven't used rose in a while. Can't go wrong with a bit of rose. A whole lot of rosy. Need to be a little bit careful with how I've set this up. I need to get rid of some of these. Because I basically need to make sure that sunflowers are what I have the most of. Because the guys that come in that I don't like, they have this thing where whichever plant you have the most of out on the field, they freeze it for like five seconds at a time. Like every single one you have. Is that it? Is that all she wrote? Surely not. Okay, so that's interesting. They didn't send a single one of these guys. Which, I mean, thank you. I don't like this guy. He's a little piece of shit. But they didn't send him. Whatever. Not my problem. Dual day. So this is where things start getting tasty. I'm thinking we just kick it off nice and simple to start with. Lumus Lotus, Runic Leaflet. Jobs are good. And uh, maybe I'll bring this as well. You know. Because I, I like this one. one. So yeah, this is uh, this is what we're working with. Two gardens. We're now defending a tent and a picnic. Saddle up, because we got a lot of these ones. I think we've got a whole bunch of day ones and night ones for this. So fun times to be had. I hate that I'm having to just let some of these lanes go, but I don't see how else I'm supposed to do this. This is the kind of level where I need tiger grass. I'm telling you. This is just the kind of level where I need it. If I could just have one lotus... Per lane. That's all I want. Oh, that's good. Um, shit. Oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in the face of that. I think I just, I think I just lose. Yeah, I just lose. I can't fucking believe I just lost to that. God. Now we're talking. See this setup, man. It is just the answer. The universal solution to everything. I almost feel like it shouldn't be this good. But it, it just is. Just do all three of them. Another one, another one. Uh, why are you going that way? Okay, let's try that again. Make your mind up! Honestly, God. Mixed messages. You know, I never thought I'd say this. Okay, see, that time it actually worked in my favor. I think this has the dragon cannon beat. I really do. I think we've actually found something better than the XYZ Dragon Cannon. Almost sad to admit that. Well, I think we got this. Perfect. Could definitely use another one over this side. Black hole, black hole, go, go, go. Oh, clutch. Forgot I had that. Give me an Inferno. There you go. That's the way. Okay, made it through one. Caught off guard. Pretty much sums up that first level. And you know, I'm just suddenly remembering Tiger Grass's other effect. He gets horny when there's female plants around. That's why he's glowing red. 
And he'll attack faster now, won't he? Because he's got a boner. God, look how fast he's going now. Oh, Go on, you impress them sunflowers. I mean, they're not going to let you smash because... I mean, physiologically, I don't even know how that's going to work. All right, here we go. Jury and mortar. Let's get it. Now, does it fire on both sides is the question. E... Hell, are you firing at? Got one plant out here getting horny over the sunflowers, another one trying to kill him. I don't know what's going on. Oh god, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then black holes will be nice, right there. Got him. So I just can't be out still with the all stars right now, to be honest. Wait, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Soul patch, you're gonna save my life. You're literally going to save my life. I very nearly lost that. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. Come on. There it is. <sighs> Fucking all-star. Every time. Thank you, Soul Patch. See, it's like we're getting to the business end of this now. And... I already feel like... I know what setup I'm going to be taking on the ultimate challenge with. It's going to be the tiger grass with the crown inferno and the flipping soul patch. I think it's a given at this point. This one's not been too bad. Just abusing jury and pole again. Yep, I think we're good. <sighs> we're getting through him. Slowly but surely, we are getting through him. In fact, hang on. That was the last dual day. And I guess this is where we're going to be finalizing the setup. Because the ultimate challenge is at night time. So this is it. This is the home stretch. Until... Wait, no, it's not the home stretch. It, it, it's the top bend. Huh? I know what I meant. It's our last chance to get our shit together before we fight Zomboss. All right, let's motor through these. my god bro it must have taken me at least three hours just to do this level that is one of the most disgusting levels i've ever done in any game and then there was one the ultimate battle i would say it is collectively taken me upwards of eight or nine hours to get to this point i have not been able to film this in one day i've had to split it i've had to like Oh, let's just do it. Let's just do it.
Let's kick his ass. It's working. Shields holding up. Future room as well. Nice. Okay. Hang on, wait. Oh, we lost a we lost the soul patch. Ah, we lost the soul patch. Come on. Stay with me. A little longer. That's it. Ooh, just got that in time. Oh, it's so hard to tell if I'm actually doing well or not. He looks pretty dented. Looks like we are getting somewhere. Come on. Firing them off. Firing them off. Come on. There's so many of these down now. Come on. Come all this way. All this way. Is he out here? Yes! He's gone! He's fucking done it! I just got to say one thing. That was a piece of piss in comparison to that. Holy shit. Long, long night. God damn. That level was just something else. See, the ultimate battle. In the end, I think we won that pretty convincingly. Didn't even lose a single lawnmower. But this one. Oh my God, this one. And that's it. We've done it. All... How many levels are there? All 25 levels. In one video. I think the first thing I've got to say is... I'm sorry. In advance. For how long you're going to have to wait for this video. Yeah, this is probably the biggest project I've done. I've never filmed this much for one video. But there you have it. That is the full playthrough of Plants vs. Zombies Beautiful Town. Otaku Radish? That was incredible you ain't trying to tell me you made this by yourself this game is so good it's so fucking good you should be so proud of yourself whether you develop this by yourself or if you had a whole team doesn't matter that was so worth it and to be completely honest with you this would be so much more deserving of being called pvz3 than this absolute pile of steaming shit. I said it before, I'll say it again. You guys are the future of this franchise. Your mods, your fan games, you are doing God's work. You don't need PopCap to keep this franchise going. Just remember that. That is going to be it from me. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've watched this far, thank you. I really appreciate it. Some fucking time went into this one if you have enjoyed it then feel free to hit the like button subscribe if you're new around here let me know your thoughts in the comments turn on the notification bell end and i'll see you next time